All right, guys, tell me about the Danvers game, Matt. Uh, huge performance for you, but uh, a huge win for the team. Yeah, um, well, I mean, biggest part of that game was just that, you know, before the game, everyone kind of counted us out a little bit, but the biggest thing was that we knew ourselves that it, we could win the game, and uh, we just had that one common goal, and everyone came together, and we got it done. Bobby, what, tell me about the Danvers game from your point of view, Bobby. Uh, well, from the Lions' perspective, they were pretty good up front, so we knew that was a big challenge ahead of us with blocking blocking their, their front, front three or four whenever they had it, or the front six, and then the linebackers. So, you know, they were pretty tough up front, but we did we did pretty well. Johnny, is in the backfield, you know a little bit about blocking too. and uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we knew we knew they had some players, uh, number 33, number 10, a bunch of guys back there who could fly around. So we knew we had uh, get get to them quickly and then, same with the defensive side of the ball. We knew they had a bunch of um, good running backs, good receivers, so we tried to, try to shut them down, um, make sure they didn't get any too big of plays. So. Well, it was a big game Friday night because of the playoffs, and the playoffs continue for you guys this week. But what about prior to the Danvers game? What was a big game that you saw that you guys played this year? I thought uh, the Kentucky game was a really big game for us because coming off our first loss of the season, we had a, we had a bounce back. So that, I thought that was the turning point in our season. Just how we responded, we uh, got a big win under the lights, so I thought that was a really big win for us. Bobby, how about a big game other than the Danvers game for you? Uh, I'd say Masco, considering that was our only loss of the season, and just how we persevered through with that adversity, losing one of our one of our better linemen, Drew Delano. So yeah, it's a big part of that. And Matt, um, I definitely have to go with the Newburyport game. Uh, we actually won the Cal Championship that game, and uh, it was about thirty something years. So I mean. To do do something like that, it's a big accomplishment and gets everyone pumped up for the postseason. Final question for you guys. Uh, is there a, a teammate that you want to give a kind of a little shout out to somebody or a group of players on a, you know, in a part of the team that have really stood out this year? Ah, uh, yeah. I, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Mike Cortiello. We call him Q. He's a, uh, he's a lineman. He, he plays on both sides of the ball. He's, he's been playing with us uh, since freshman year, so well, youth actually, and uh, He's just an absolute beast. You don't always hear about him, but he grinds and he always gets the job done. So, yeah. Bobby, how about yourself? I'd say our quarterback Kyle Bythro. He's been put, he's been putting in work this whole off season, and he's the best quarterback out there. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, I would say junior Jack D'Angelo. He's a guy like uh, Matt. Matt said another offensive lineman, um, similar to Q. You don't see his name a lot on the paper or anything like that, but he's a guy who just works really hard to be the best player he can be. He's a good leader out there. Uh, stepped up big time for us this year. So, Jack D'Angelo.